Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be doing a litmus paper lab to find pH of substances, particularly if it's an acid or if it's a base. Now you're going to find that we're testing substances that are household products and we're going to use these bottles right here of litmus paper. So we're going to use blue paper and red paper today. So when you dip the blue paper into a substance and it turns red and really it's going to turn pink but we're going to call it red okay um that means that you have an acid now if you take a piece of the red litmus paper which really looks pink but we're going to call it red um, and it turns blue then you have a base and i remember that because base starts with a b blue starts with a b and hopefully that will help you out now we do have the ph scale here from zero all the way to 14. remember that seven is going to be ph neutral um, now the farther or farther away you get from seven the stronger it's going to get on either end so our zero ones and twos are going to be strong acids and our 12s, 13s and 14s are going to be strong base we can also call this alkaline as well over here okay so you're just looking for how pink is it getting or how blue is it getting to indicate if it's an acid or base or how strong it is, okay? Uh, now let's go ahead and look at our substances. What I've done is I've lined them all up on a table. I put them in a cup, a little bit of um, each one of the samples at the bottom, and we're gonna dip in our blue and our red paper into each substance and see what color it turns. Now is a great time to make predictions which one is an acid which one is a base what color will the litmus paper turn so pause the video and do that and we're going to get right into the lab you guys all right we're starting with water go ahead and dip your red and blue litmus paper in the substance and see what color it turns water does not turn a color because it is neutral let's try some hot sauce so dip it in and see what color it turns and you will see that our blue litmus paper does turn pink, so this is going to be an acid. Vinegar's up next. Go ahead and dip it and look at what color it turns. And you can see that the blue litmus paper turns red, so this is going to be an acid. Here's bleach. Go ahead and dip your litmus paper. And you can see right away that that red litmus paper does turn a shockingly bright blue. So this is a very strong base. Hand soap is up next. And the hand soap was actually on the side, so I had to rub it so it could get on the paper. And you can see that the blue litmus paper did turn slightly red. So this is going to be an acid. And Sprite is up next. Go ahead and dip it in. And our blue litmus paper did turn pink, so this is an acid. Glass cleaner's up next. And you can tell already that our red litmus paper turned blue, so this is going to be a base, a strong base of that. Orange juice is up next. Go ahead and test the sample. And you can see that our blue litmus paper turned a light shade of pink or red. Therefore, it is an acid, but not a strong one. Here's our floor cleaner. And you can see that the red litmus paper did turn blue and it looks pretty dark. So I'm going to say that's a strong base. And milk is our last one. Go ahead and dip it in, see if it turns colors. And you can see that it doesn't really change the shade of color, meaning that it is very close to neutral or pH 7. So I hope this was helpful in learning all about litmus paper. Now it won't tell you a very exact number from the pH scale. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit closer, you can try a natural indicator such as red cabbage juice. I have a video on that if you want to check it out. Or if you're looking for a pretty exact number of pH, I do have a video all about pH paper and I will show you all of that. Go ahead and check it out, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.